Oh, the Ryman Novices Chase is next then. Uh, this is three mile one furlong for Novices this time. And the top one is Gates of Dawn for Leon van Rensburg. Rosini's McCavity for David Hooley. Amazing Grace, Joshua Sutherland. Nuclear, Leon van Rensburg. Bedtime Stories, Craig Beckwith. Good Time in Ryan Tamasebi. Jane's Rose for John Morgan. Junk in the Trunk Ages for David Robertson. Renvar Prospect for Craig Allen. And Syram for Graham Clutterbuck. So ten then this time. And called in. And away they go under the shadow of the big screen. And make their way towards the first of the fences. They'll swing left hand as a really long run to the first. And Jane's Rose and Good Time and are disputing the lead as they make their way towards it. It's a good old way away. You can see it in the distance there. Look. And it's a good timing that leaves. Jane's Rose is second. We have a gap then back to the grey junk in the trunk ages on the outside. It's probably just about showing third, but four or five. Horse widths wide. The trainer will be hoping that one will cut in at some point as they finally do get to the first, which they have all successfully negotiated, although one or two were a bit scrappy looking at the back. And good timing's gone on by half a length to Jane's Rose in second. As they take the water, and they're all safely over that one with good timing in front. Jane's Rose second. Gap of four lengths then to Amazing Grace in third. Syram's going the shortest way around in fourth, and then Renvar Prospect after that, then Gates of Dawn as they come to this ditch, which they once again have all got to the other side of. Bedtime Store is just about the back marker. The grey junk in the trunk ages has got itself into an inside position, but has also dropped right to the back. Mistake there by Syram, I've seen that one now shuffle towards the rear of the field, but good timing. He's showing good timing at the moment at the fences and leads by a length to James Rose in the pale blue jacket in second. Gap of a good four then, maybe even five, to Renvar Prospect as they take that ditch, which they've all taken well. And good timing continues to lead. James Rose is second. Gap back to Renvar Prospect third and Amazing Grace fourth. As they come to this plain one, that's fence number six. And again, they're all over it okay. The field now just beginning to get a little bit stretched. As good timing put some pace into the race and has now gone on by two to James Rose in second who's a similar distance ahead of Renvar Prospect as they take fence number seven. Uh, good jump on the outside there by Nuclear Scene. That will move up into fourth. But good timing continues to lead. James Rose second, Renvar Prospect third. Then Nuclear Amazing Grace and Rosini's McCavity virtually in a line. Syram is just behind them. Then the grey junk in the trunk ages and the back to her gates of dawn and bedtime stories as they get over number eight. And that time Renvar Prospect uh, didn't jump in at all well. And has just lost its place a little bit. But the jockey is now getting it back on an even keel and it's back alongside. Rosini's McCavity. So good timing leads then with Jane's Rose second. Then a gap to Rosini's McCavity and Renvile Prospect and Amazing Grace and Nuclear and Syram. And then Junk in the Trunk Ages and finally Gates of Dawn and Bedtime Stories. They're passing the stand then now. Coming down towards this next fence. And good timing again. Stood off it and jumped it really well. They all jumped it well in fact. And see them from the distance now. Then they'll take this fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And they're all over that one okay, although Nuclear didn't jump it all that well. And they're going to swing left-handed now then for a complete circuit of Presbury Park. And good timing leads by three to James Rose in second and Renvar Prospect third. Then Rosini's McCavity is four and Amazing Grace is five. Then Syram is six and Nuclear is seven. And then Gates of Dawn and Junk in the Trunk Ages. And finally, Bedtime Stories is still just the back marker, but he's still going well enough on the outside. So good timing come down to this fence now which was the first on the last circuit will be the 11th on this circuit and over it they go and again a mistake at the back by one of the Leon Van Rensburg horses it was Gates of Dawn this time that one's now the back marker but good time is now about to be joined by James Rose as they come to the water which they get over successfully as usual and good timing leads by about three quarters of a length to James Rose in second gap of three then to Renval Prospect who's now a clear third then comes Amazing Grace and Rosini's McCavity as they take number 13 which again they all jump well and James Rose has come up on the outside of Good Timing for a share of the lead as they get to this plain one. Good Timing jumps it better and has now reasserted on the inside. So Good Timing is the leader again by three quarters of a length. James Rose is second. Gap of three back to Renvile Prospect third and then Rosini's McCavity is fourth. Then Amazing Grace junking the trunk ages is now starting to weave his way through the pack with Nuclear on the outside as they take this ditch which they all get over nicely. And the leading pair 
having a battle for the lead. Good timing is winning that battle at the moment, but he's having to put in a little bit of effort to stay in front as they get over number 16. Another mistake at the back by Gates of Dawn. One's going to have to sprout wings to win from the back now, then as they begin to swing left handed again. And Good Timing's lead is back up to a length from James Rose in second. Then Renroll Prospect, Amazing Grace is now making a forward move. This is the fourth from home. Good jump by James Rose and a good jump as well by Amazing Grace, but Good Timing is still the leader. Good Timing by half to James Rose in second. Amazing Grace is third. Then Renroll Prospect, Rosini's McCavity, junk in the trunk cages. And also starting to run off from the back is Gates of Dawn as they take the third last one is a four there amazing grace has gone jockey took a while to come out but he's finally fallen off and it's good timing in the lead then good timing by two to james rose in second rosini's mccavity is now bursting through the inside of renvar prospect gates of dawn is coming on amazingly well running on so too is junk in the trunk ages bedtime stories is still there nuclear and Syram are probably out of it they've got two more to take and good time is really lead pretty much all the way he leads by about two and a half lengths over the second last jumped in a bit slow much better jump by Renvar Prospect to Rosini's McCavity and now these three are clear of the remainder. They're coming down towards the final fence and it's Renvar Prospect on the outside, runs straight through it. Good time and jumps in better. Here comes James Rose throwing down a big challenge again, a furlong to go. It's Renvar Prospect in the lead by about two. Is it strong enough to hold on with that mistake at the last? It looks like it is. And Renvar Prospect is racing towards the line. James Rose is trying to close, but Renvar Prospect is just about gonna hang on from in second place, James Rose. Then good time and Rosini's McCavity jumping the trunk ages and gates of dawn. Siram was the last one to finish. And the jockey on the horse in the lead taking a bit of a risk because he was easing right down. And James Rose is lunging at the line and didn't quite make it. But Renvile Prospect only just hung on. And Craig Allen had his heart in his mouth in there for those last few strides. Hold on by Shorthead. So Renvile Prospect takes it for Greg Allen. James Rose for John Morgan second. Good time in Ryan Tamasebi was third. Rosini's McCavity, David Hooley fourth. And Junk in the Trunk Ages for David Robertson was fifth.